there are many allophones of the phoneme t. I'm going to produce the word uh, what, and I'm going to use uh, three different allophones. So I could say what, what, and I've used uh, an aspirated T at the end. That allophone usually happens at the beginning of a syllable, uh, but it can occur in free variation at the end of uh, a syllable as well. I could also, instead of releasing my tongue with a puff of air, I could say it and let my tongue just stick to the roof of my mouth. So I could say, what, what? That is uh, an unreleased T, and that is shown with the diacritic of a corner uh, after the lowercase t. And then the last one is uh, a familiar old friend. Uh, I can do what, <laughs> what, and that is a glottal stop. I can't use a alveolar tap when I say this by itself. Um, I don't think that's, I can't think of that happening in American English uh, because the alveolar tap likes to happen between vowels and it likes for the vowel before to be stressed <clears throat> or for a syllabic L to follow. I could, however, have an alveolar tap on the word what if a vowel follows. So I could say, what if, what if, and then you hear that the allophone has changed because the phonetic environment has changed. And so these are just some of the different uh, versions of tuh.